Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own texture pack or resource pack in Minecraft 1.12. Step one, you want to go into your percentage app dot percentage folder and jump into your dot Minecraft folder. From here, you want to go into your resource packs and create a new folder with the name of your resource pack. For this one, I'm going to be calling it YT Test. Then you want to jump inside that folder create a new text document and name it name it uh, take out the dot, dot txt name it pack dot mc meta you have to have the mc meta at the end as minecraft won't be able to read otherwise now my one set to default open up with notepad you can open up with any text uh, document and i believe word doesn't work though so just stick with notepad then you want to write this inside. I'll have this in the description below and basically here you can write whatever you want. I'm just going to write this is a test. Dot, dot, dot. And now you can save it. You, yep, save it. Now you want to close that and you're practically finished for that part. That lets Minecraft know that it's a texture pack or resource pack. Next you want to create, um, if you would like a picture for it, I'm going to go into File Explorer and open up pictures and get this uh, I would not like to do that I would like to copy it in there paste it there okay so this here is called pack.png you want to leave it as pack.png if it's like something else like if it's a jpeg I don't think it, uh, it won't work so just name it pack.png okay and now you have that set, now what you want to do is go into your .minecraft folder again by going into percentage app to up percentage .minecraft. Now you want to go into your versions and select whichever version this is for, I'm doing it for 1.12. Uh, you see this jar folder, it might not always say jar, if it doesn't say that, same with the .mc meta. What you want to do is you want to go into your view tab right here and you want to make sure that file name extensions is ticked otherwise it won't show in your black. So make that make sure that it's ticked so you can make sure it's an MC meta file and not pack.mcmeta.txt or else that won't work. Next you want to jump into your 1.12.jar or 1.12 if that isn't enabled. Then you want to open it with WinRAR, a link to WinRAR will be in the description. You want to go into the assets or rather copy the assets folder. This entire assets I just shut my um, uh, resource pack. Do not shut your resource pack, ladies and gents. So open here, IT test, um, and you want to copy this assets folder right here inside your texture pack, right over there. So it might take a uh, you know just a bit of a, uh, a bit of time. So I'll be back when it's finished. Okay, so it's finished copying that assets folder into the texture pack. Now you can go ahead and shut that. And you now this is where the magic begins. Here is like everything, pretty much everything. Um, advancements. Here, these. Um, if you want to edit the JSON in the advancement, you don't really need to if you don't understand any of that, because you know that delves a bit deeper. Um, here you have the length, and I'm actually gonna get into that a bit uh, in a bit. But what I'm gonna do is you can go into your textures, and here you have all the textures. So, I, I'm going to go into the blocks, and I'm actually going to go and find the diamond ore, which is right over here, and I'm going to open it with paint.net. And I'm using paint.net because I find it very versatile and easy to use. And you can jump here, and what you want to do is you want to make, you can change this have one. You can even change this to the dirt texture if you really want to. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I'm going to make that. And then click more to make it a bit lighter for these lighter parts around here. And then just a tad more lighter for the even lighter parts. Um, and then practically white for the other ones. I'm actually going to add a bit of white for that one and maybe one over here. Maybe whatever. So now you have yourself a nice little ruby with a shine. You can go ahead and save this. Now, when you jump in the game, this will be called diamond ore and it's going to look like a ruby. Now, uh, some people might not want that. So, what you can do is actually go back here two times, go into the lang folder or language, 
I'm gonna open it with Notepad++. It's a lot easier to read. I mean, if you were to open it with Notepad, you would have this, and just that's just you know really messy. So here is very easy. Now, unless um, I was already on this diamond ore sort of thing, if you were, you're gonna come at the very beginning, like this. What you can do, even if you have Notepad, you can go Control F to open this find up, and you can write diamond ore here. And if you click Enter, it will find it. Uh, it will find anything with diamond ore. So as you can see, there we go. Now what you can do is go tile.ore diamond.name. And the name that comes after this will be the name that it appears as in-game. So if I was to call this ruby ore, the diamond ore which I changed to ruby would be called ruby ore, which looks really, really cool. Now if we were to save this, we can actually do go even that tiny bit further and if we were to find diamond, so if you can control F again and write diamond and click enter until you find diamond, here we go, item diamond.name diamond, you can actually change this to ruby. Now if you were to change that to ruby, you can save this and if we were to go into textures, go into items, this is where you can find it. Now there's actually a ruby in here. It's not in the game. And what you can do is you can copy that, the texture for the ruby, and you can actually paste it in here. Now we will go ahead and find find it. Or rather we'll find the diamond first. And what you can do is you can actually remove diamond.png. Um, just go on it and press delete. I uh, could not find it. Oh, okay, so already deleted, just taking a bit oh just taking the one. Now you can go to your ruby. And when it says ruby copy, you want to change that to diamond.png and that will replace the diamond texture as you will be able to see in a bit after I find it. Um, did we pass it? Did we pass it? Just slowly. Um, da, 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 da. Diamond horse, diamond, here, yeah, diamond right there. And that's changed that. Now basically you can change anything in here from the um, from the text like splashes you have all these splashes you can remove all these and change it to whatever you want and if I was to jump on Minecraft now go on single player this is just my uh, texture pack testing world I'm gonna jump on full screen here options resource pack and you will have your um, resource pack it will say made for an older version of minecraft it still works completely fine and uh, you want to go done done and finished now you will have your resource pack and just to prove it scroll down a bit and uh, ruby or right there ruby or and if i was to this on the peaceful so if i was about to go into game mode s put this down and mine it a ruby would come out and it would actually be called ruby so you can continue making this and of course if we were to get a ruby another ruby and if we were to get a stick and craft it would still be it would still be called diamond sword but you can change that inside the files as well so it's pretty much whatever you want and that's the power of editing in the resource pack so that's practically the video guys um i hope you guys enjoy if you did be sure to leave a like if you would like me to teach you guys how to animate resource packs which is a really cool feature uh i will also make a video on that let's go for 10 likes on this video and until guys until next time guys i will see you all later